Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to take data from a text box then transfer it to another page where it can then open a printing prompt. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start a form and its action is going to equal print.php because that's where the data is going to be processed and printed. The method is going to equal post because we'll be posting data and then we'll just close the form off. Inside the form we're then going to add a text area with rows of 20 so it'll be 20 rows high and columns of 50 so it's going to be 50 columns wide. Then I'm going to name this, print underscore this, and just close that off. Then under that I'm going to put a line break, and then I'm going to put input type equals submit, name equals submit, value equals print. Now I'm then going to go to my print.php page and set all the stuff up to be printed. So I'm going to start by going php I'm going to go if my symbol underscore post square brackets single quotation marks submit so if the button has been pressed then in curly brackets we're going to put s message our money symbol message equals money symbol underscore post square brackets single quotation marks print underscore this close that off with a semicolon and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm add a body tag and it's going to be body actually first I have to close my PHP tag off then it's going to be body onload equals what is it again javascript colon window dot print empty brackets and a semicolon close off my body tag and close off my body tag yep and then in here I'm going to put in PHP tags echo in brackets, money symbol message. So then I'm going to close my PHP tags off. And what this is going to do is when the page starts up, it's going to say, Has the button been pressed? Yes, it's been pressed. Well, then the message equals what was in the text area. Then when the page loads, it's going to open a print window. So I'll start this up. Refresh. Refresh. Here we go. And I'm going to type, Hey, this is a test. Then I'm going to go print. Printing. Hey, this is a test, and there we go. The print window comes up. Now, when you print the top of this kind of page, it's going to say page number one, and like a f little footer thing with the URL. Well, that might be the wrong way around though. So that's how to print using PHP and JavaScript. Thank you for watching.